pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Okay, let's look at this illustration. Here we got same likeness again. Here it says thought meaning. This person's natural thoughts and beliefs have certain low frequencies. Okay, so the guy is just naturally thinking negative about things. He just knows things are bad, so guess what? They are. That's what he's expecting, so that's what he sees. So it says here his natural thoughts and beliefs have low frequencies. So what's he doing? He's eliciting a response from the universe that matches what he thinks about. So here, we get the physical meaning. We get guitars with similar low frequencies representing bad situations and bad opportunities. They're the ones that are standing out. What do you get? You get the physical result. The resonance has been activated. A response has been elicited. And everything that's like what he's thinking about lights up and stands out from the rest. Here it says in red, low frequency meanings have been activated and are being elicited from the situation. So once again, you see the guitars being played, but this time you can see that it's red vibrations coming off of it, representing negative thoughts, the low strings. And he's playing that guitar as he's talking. He's saying, oh, the economy's bad. Oh, you know, I'm sick and I got all these problems and everything's bad and as he's saying that, those vibrations are flying out of him across the universe. So as he's standing there resonating like that, creating those negative vibrations, look at this. Look at these red lights lighting up. Now, all he can see is bad things out there. That's all he was able to notice, but we know there's good things out there. How do we know? Because the guy who was in the store just before him, who was talking about all the great things and great opportunities and feeling really great about things, he saw all the good stuff because he could. He could see that. Because as he was thinking those thoughts, he was noticing those kinds of things. He was resonating with them. They were standing out. He was eliciting that kind of response from his world. But this guy, with the way he's thinking and all of his negative thoughts and everything is so bad, all he can see is the bad. So here, all we see is the red lights, even though we know that there's green ones there. The opportunities are everywhere. Great things are everywhere. But this guy can't see them. He can't. Here it says, the red low string vibrations are low frequency meanings and they resonate and elicit all the things that will match them. That's what he's doing. He's eliciting all this negative stuff. Not only is he eliciting from the situation the fact that he can see these negative things, He's eliciting negative results from the things he's got going on, like his car. His car doesn't start. That's a negative result that he elicited from his car. So not only do you see the negative things, but you elicit a negative result, a negative consequence from your experience, from your world, from your life. Here it says the green lights of opportunity are not activated and don't respond to negative thinking. They remain in the dark, unseen and unknown. This guy could be standing right next to an amazing opportunity. But it's in the dark. It's not lit up. It's not being activated. It's not being elicited. He can't see it. Now the other guy could be standing there pointing, saying, look at that great opportunity. Look at that right there. I can't see it. He's looking right at the opportunity. He can't see it. How many times have people been right in front of a great opportunity and for some reason it just doesn't look good to them? Why? Because they just can't see it. They just don't see that it's an opportunity because 
everything looks bad to them. And the thing about it is, is even if they did it, if you had two people taking advantage of exactly the same opportunity and one was eliciting good results, one was eliciting bad results, guess what? The same opportunity would turn out bad for the, the guy who's eliciting bad results. Something wouldn't work out. He would lose his money. And the guy who's eliciting good results, the opportunity would work out great for him because he's eliciting good results. Okay. Okay, let's continue on. As we all know, there are actually opportunities and great jobs everywhere out there. But because of how he thinks, he doesn't notice them because he is in resonance with the lack of opportunity. He literally cannot see them. Even when they are right in front of him, they are invisible. They are in the dark, out of sight, and out of mind. Then as they finish talking, a third man enters the guitar store of life, and just like the rest, he requests the best guitars that are available. Once again, the guitar store owner tells him that he is the only one who can find what is a true match for him. It might not be exactly what he wants, but it is what is available to him. He can only choose from what he is aware of. He is only aware of what he notices, and he only notices what is in resonance with him and catches his attention. After all, you can only choose from what you notice and become aware of. How could you choose something that you can't see or don't notice? So, like the two customers before him, he begins to play his own guitar and talks at the same time, matching his words with his tune. Then, like the others, lights begin to appear in the dark, indicating resonance and likeness with him. He starts out by saying, I'm a realist. I tell it just like it is, the good and the bad. I know that there are lots of wonderful opportunities out there just waiting to be noticed. As he was speaking, a whole bunch of lights appeared out of nowhere. He continued, But I also know that the world is full of pitfalls just waiting to swallow up a man and take every cent that he has. More lights appeared as he said that. There is some of everything out there, and it's just a crapshoot as to what you end up with. Even more lights appeared. Now the guitar store was lit up like a Christmas tree. The only problem was... Which guitars were capable of playing the high notes, and which ones were total losers? After all, he thought and talked about good things and bad things and lit up some of everything. This is where most people are. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 5, Segment Number 10. Let your quest for knowing continue.